What's up, you guys? It's Kenya here, and I just wanted to talk to you about my journey um, through music, how I make music, and why I make music the way that I make music, and why I make music at all. So um, let's see how much of that I can remember and jump straight into first how I make a song today. You know, let's say it's, you know, modern day today, um, 2021, May. If I was going to make a song right now, how I would make it, and I was feeling something like, or the long, last song I made, which isn't even out yet, Running, um, I uh, open up GarageBand. Um, usually I'll play something because, um, you know, I played piano. Now we're just jumping all over the place. I played piano um, when I was younger. And just kind of all my life, I had a keyboard um, up until very recently, actually. I had a keyboard my whole life. I've always been able to. I never even really thought about that. But, you know, I have it on my computer now. So that's kind of the same thing. Um, and then, you know, actually, no, I, I didn't have it my whole life. It was when I was about eight. But anyway, so usually I'll play something um, in GarageBand. And then I will um, try to find something I like. Um, with that one, I think I made, I had an idea about... Um, like just making it more like spaced out, and so I started that with the with the with the keys, and and I'm doing more piano lately. So I played a piano thing, then I added some rhythm to it, and then you know I like to do um, at least this is just this is really arbitrary, but it's funny, but it's just how what's in my mind. I like to do at least like four different instruments. So I like to have the drums, the piano, a bass line. Right, and then sometimes I'll stop there. You know, like I have a, a middle tone uh, drums bass line. Sometimes I'll stop there, but usually I like to have at least one more middle tone or something, and then one other thing, so at least four. Um, something else, just on top of that, because it's like, you know, you're gonna have the drums and, I mean, the bass and, and the drums. Not all the time, though. Not all the time. Um, I'm also looking at some really doing some super simple minimalist things, which is where this one kind of came out of. So anyway, so I'll start on GarageBand and then um, I will go into recording some vocals any way, any way that I can. I used to right now I'm just using some cheap headphones and I really just record into those into the mic. I thought it was going to sound really bad, but I did it and um, it does sound different, um, but I think it sounds pretty good. And um, honestly, my musical opinion is um, important to me. I understand that not everyone does that, but that's because not everyone's a, a, an actual musician. I just want to tell you the truth on that. So I love making things that sound beautiful to me. Um, and of course, with the goal of making it sound beautiful to other people too. Um, certain people, not everyone. <laughs> And everyone has to walk that line for themselves. So anyway, so that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll record some vocals. I love to have a good mic. That the, the ah, man. Uh, but anyway, from there, um, I will mix. I'll do mixes. I might add more vocals. More vocals. Vocals take a little while because I'll do maybe in like my verse, and then I'll come idea with an idea for a chorus. And sometimes I'll freestyle. A lot of my songs are freestyled, actually. Um, only probably like six or something out of maybe more, but I would say probably like 30% are maybe written and then the rest of them are, are usually freestyled. And then of the ones that are freestyled, um, about half of those are kind of written actually though, because of the way that they're, so it's like, there's a spectrum of freestyle. There's very rarely that it's like, a freestyle freestyle like you know we're just like completely making stuff up like turn that beat on yo i came into the booth killing them with you everybody they wanted true so i gave it to them that's usually not what's happening when i'm talking about freestyle usually it's uh gonna be like okay let me hear that mm, and i'm thinking about some words and so i'll be writing it in my head i just won't take the extra step of using a, a, a piece of paper because i'm so engulfed in the moment that i'm i can keep the idea and then um, you know, I want to be more free on the melody and, or I want to be free on the lyrics and I'll have an idea of the melody or whatever. There's different reasons why freestyling is a very useful mental tool. From there, of course, mix. And then I will go into the mastering, um, 
Uh, for a while, I was interested in mastering. I didn't really understand what it was. You know, you hear mastering. What is that? And then I realized that it's just people changing the sound of the thing to make it sound how they want. And they do, there's different formats, that, you know, and there's different volumes. And, and so what I realized is I like my stuff to be loud and clear. That's all I care about. Um, and I learn more about different other things, different ways, you know, different formats. As far as formats go, I'll go wave if I'm trying to go ham, but I'll go MP3 just as easy because I don't have a problem with it. And, um, um, what else, what else, what else currently that is, you know, I might have a problem with it sometime in the future, but right now I do, you know, anyway, um what else um so mastering um i'll put um if i'm trying to do just a really fast master setup in garage because i'll master in garage band these days um then i will go and um put an envelope some enveloper change the settings on that limiters change the settings on that put a compressor on the whole thing um, get the, the highs and lows where I want them, usually boosting them out the freaking waz within reason so that they don't crackle unless I want crackle unless, yeah, which anyway, um, and, um, yeah, so that's usually what I'll do. And then I'll run that out, you know, do whatever I think I need to do to get it sounding the way that I want. And then uh, mastering done, then I release through DistroKid and then I go ham taro on social media and the internet um, and via my media company, which is why I built a media company, you know, so I could promote stuff that I want to promote. But the music actually promotes the media company, not the other way around. But having the music to promote through the media company gives me promotion for the media company. So, um, as well as for myself as an artist and it allows me to connect with human beings. What could be greater? So what else? Um, so that's the, how I make music. Why do I make music like that? Cause I know people make music in lots of different ways. Um, I don't know. I'm an independent human being. I really don't like people in, in, in my process unless it's fun. You know what I mean? Other than that, I don't really have time to sit around and listen to, um, anything that's going to waste time only because I realize for them, that's the real thing. You know, I don't need to be in that room because some people there, that's their, their room of their mastery. Me, I have so many goals that, um, I do self mastery on a much slower scale, you know, continuing to make music, you know, since I was eight years old to 32, you know, that gives me 26 years, something like that. I don't know if I'm doing the math right on that. 24 years of, um, but I was playing before then. But anyway, and I was in choir. So, I mean, music is, it's just part of who I am. And then, and then uh, poetry, interestingly, is actually a relatively new, but it's the longest that I've been, the, the thing that I've been going the loudest on because it was such an, uh, a unique channel. I was going to say easy, easy channel for me to release my intelligence and articulation that I just like went ham in there because it was like under press attention allowed me to expand fully, but then, um, and, and be able to build and, and understand what media and communications and society and being a, a person in society means. Um, but I also have a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff I need to get out. Music is maybe phase one of my, I never thought about that. Music is actually phase one of what I really want to do. So I actually need to go all the way to the, okay. So that's why I make music the way that I do. Um, Cause I, I'm out here with a goal. Um, my five-year goal, I want a Grammy in five years. I wanted a poetry Grammy already, but that didn't happen. So I didn't even really put in the requisite effort, but I'm going to, I want these plays, you guys. So anytime you hear my music, play it. Play it a bunch. Remember, it's Kenya. Play the music. Can't play the music. And then, um, so that's why I do it the way that I do it. And why do I do it at all? Because I love music. Um, you know, I've been into music for a very long time. I can't even really get into the deep, the, the deepness, you know. Uh, really, it's a deep love for indie rock, which has extended to me all 
genres of music. You know, because you can go from there to the, you know, the rock and how that ties into the story of, you know, America and jazz and classical and, you know, even indie music even led me into African music, you know, fella got me into a version of understanding my Nigerianness that I didn't get before. So music, um, <laughs> I've been playing music all my life. I, I love the I love the drums. Um, I love I love playing drums. I love playing. I actually do love playing drums with churches and choir. That it's such a unique such, such a unique circumstance because it's like this is deep. Um, and um, so I just love I love music. I love musical instruments. I love drums. Drums are so cool. Drumsticks are so cool. Guitars are less cool, but still kind of cool. Keyboards, pianos are probably the most beautiful thing human beings have ever done. Anyway. What else? Uh, why I do it, how I make music, why I make music like that, why I make music at all, and uh, maybe why I make the music that I'm making. Everything I'm making right now um, has been me learning about what I want to do with music. You know, I, I learned first, in my opinion, to master my ability to express an honest musical moment of myself in a way that I would enjoy. And then now it's about, oh, okay, what are all these different things? And now I get to look back and be like, oh, I said this, 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 and this. I was here, there, 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 and there. Fascinating. Let's go. Here, 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 if you understand what I'm saying. So now that's what I'm doing in my in my musical places. I'm like, where have I yet not traversed that I need to perhaps tap the sycamores? Okay, that didn't make any sense, but I didn't want to break character. Anyway, um, so... Yeah, that's that's really my whole musical thing. And I thank you for listening. That I really feel like I was talking for hours and hours when I was probably it was probably the short one of the shorter things that I have recorded recently. Um thanks for listening. Um come back to Kinyo HQ, you guys, um, for um more podcasts. And you can find Kinyo HQ by just going to Kinyo.org, clicking the media page. Um and you'll see the podcast there, but you can also find um, Kenyo HQ in any podcast app, okay? Any podcast app. In fact, just type Kenyo HQ into Google. If you're ever just moving about and you're like, you know what, let me get some Kenyo HQ, type it into Google. It'll probably take you to my Instagram, which you can also follow me on Instagram. Um, but yes, or go to Kenyo.org, whatever, you know, Kenyo HQ, Kenyo.org. Just um, don't leave me lonely. Um, so I typed in Kenyo HQ. It takes you to the project for first. So that's good. That's good. There's nothing there. Um, but there will be by the time you get there. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. Um, no, I really appreciate it. Definitely follow Kenyo HQ on your podcast, especially in Apple and iTunes on Apple. Leave a review for your boy. Thumbs up. Thumbs it up. And um, hope to talk to you guys more about some cool music stuff. I think there's there's so many artists out there, and I think I'm going to use my podcast a lot just to talk about music and how I make music and what music is. And maybe I'll interview some other musicians. That'll be fun. All right, see you guys later.